What's up guys, Gary with self.dev. Today we're gonna to talk about do you need a college degree to get a job as a web developer? And the answer is no, you don't. If you wanna be a front end, full stack or back end developer, you don't really need to go to college. Um, actually, I think, be, I think it'd kinda of be a waste to go to college um, because you can get a job learning on your own faster than you could graduate college. I got a job studying, I got a front end developer job studying for seven months. Now I had to study a lot and I was lucky enough to have a job that I hated that I could use to push myself to study more. So as long as you have the self-discipline to sit down and study like three hours a night and then like four or five hours on the weekends, you can do this faster than you could graduate college. So reasons I think college is a waste if you wanna be a front end, full stack or back end developer. Um, Three reasons. First one is the cost. It's gonna cost you like 30, 40, 50, 60K. If you're in the US, if you're in Europe, I think they have free colleges, I don't know. I don't know much about Europe, honestly. So show my ignorance here. Uh, but yeah, the money. Second is gonna be the opportunity cost. So if you go to college in the US, it's gonna take you three, four, five, maybe even six years to graduate. And honestly, if it takes you five or six years to graduate, then the self-taught route wasn't for you anyway, because you don't have the discipline to do it. Um, and the third one is, is there a third one? Maybe it's just two. Third one is you're still gonna have to do a lot of outside college stuff anyway. Like I have people that have graduated with computer science degrees and they're having a hard time finding a job because they can't, I mean, they didn't build enough outside projects during college to like kind of prove that they know what they're doing. They know like the theoretical stuff, but they don't know how to actually like apply it. It's kind of like, let's see if we do paint here. Um, so this is kind of more like if you're, if you're just watching videos on YouTube or Udemy and you're not actually building projects on your own, if you're just following along with somebody who's coding, this is kind of what happens. So you, you have these like neurons, right? And this is like, Alexa, stop the timer. This is like how to build an H1 tag. This is like how to set up an HTML boilerplate. This is like how floats work. This is how Flexbox works. This is how divs work. This can be like P tags. Um, when you're watching the videos, you develop these neurons of like how this stuff works, right? When you build the projects, that's what actually connects these neurons together and allows you to see like the bigger picture of how everything fits together and how it all works together. If you just watch the videos, when you go to an interview, if you just watch the videos and don't build anything, when you go to the interview and they're, they say, all right, build this website, you're gonna be like, yeah, I got this. And then you sit down to code it and you don't know what to do. So gotta build projects <clears throat> to show that you know what you're doing. And then, I mean, that's pretty much it. Yeah, to show, show you know what you're doing. Um, so, Back to the college thing. Um, there's the real cost and the opportunity cost. If you teach yourself, you can one, go to a boot camp, um, and that's like 15, 20K. I think that's like the high end probably. So way cheaper. Uh, or you can do Team Treehouse, that's 200 bucks a month. And if you live in a big city like me, you can get a job within like seven, eight months doing it. I mean, maybe like a year at the extreme probably, as long as you're working hard. And that's like 200 bucks a month. So that's like 2,400 a year. And let's say it even takes you two years. Um, that's only 48, yeah, 4,800. So still way cheaper than college. Uh, the second one is the opportunity cost, the time. If you do a boot camp, most of them are under a year. So you could probably have a job as a web developer in under a year. Uh, or if you do Team Treehouse or Free Code Camp or Teach Yourself, um, I mean, that you could, as long as you're working hard, you can probably do that in under a year as well. So I have my bullet points of what I want to talk about here because I keep getting off track. I've shot this video so many times because my ADD just takes over and I go off on some random tangent and I don't know where I was going with it. <clears throat> so if you are in college though and you're studying computer science, make sure you're building projects on your own. Like make sure by your senior year, you should have a portfolio with projects that you've built ready to show potential employers if you wanna be a front end full stack or back end developer. 
And then this is even more important if you don't have the college degree. Benefits of the college degree though, if you get the college degree, you can probably command a higher starting salary. Um, but if you teach yourself, you get the job faster. So let's say you teach yourself, you get a job in a year, and then you go to like, versus somebody who's going to college, they take three years to get the degree. You've got two years of work experience on them. Plus after six months to a year, you could probably job hop and get a job that's paying as much as what the college degree person would make anyway. So there's not that much of a difference. Um, but yeah, if you are in college, make sure you build the projects. If you're not in college, portfolio is even more important because you don't have the college degree credential. So you've got to have a pro uh, portfolio that looks good. That's a big part of it. Um, if your portfolio doesn't look good, whoever's hiring is going to try to look past the design, but subconsciously that makes an impact if it looks bad. It's way easier for them to see it through a positive lens if your portfolio looks good. So yeah, um, long story short, you don't need a college degree to get a job as a web developer. You can teach yourself. I'd recommend teaching yourself versus going to college, unless you want to be one of those other three things, like a network engineer, um, penetration tester, IT security, that sort of thing. That, I don't know, do more research. I don't have much insight into that part. My monitor has 3D vision. I wonder what that is. But yeah, teach yourself. It's gonna be way cheaper, gonna be faster as long as you work hard. If you can't, if you don't have self-discipline, you might have to go to college because it's gonna take self-discipline. So yeah, I'm gonna make a video on how to make a portfolio. Uh, if you wanna see that, subscribe. And I am also gonna make a video on how to learn to code if I haven't already. If I have, there's gonna be a link to it in the description or one of those cool little inbox screens that should be popping up right now if there is. Um, but yeah, if you want to join the Discord, there's a link to that in the description too. Come hang out with people that are trying to become web developers and get advice from me and other people who have self-taught themselves and become web developers. I review resumes and portfolios. If you want to send me those, I've got my email in the description. You're welcome to email me questions too or leave them in the comments. I will probably make a video out of it. Fair warning. So, peace.